Hey guys, this is Adrian Boisel, and today I wanted to make a new and fresh video. I feel the need to spend some money. I wanted to do some retail therapy, so I'm coming here to Best Buy today to shoot a new seven gadgets that every graphic designer needs. We're gonna go through the store, we're gonna see what they have in stock, what they don't have in stock. Things are changing so quick, supplies are so short, but we're gonna see what they have, and we're gonna try to pick up some cool gear, some graphic design gadgets that you guys could use at home, and we're gonna check it out. So let's go inside and have some fun. I'm gonna upgrade my headphones. I like the earbuds, but having something in your ears all day isn't the most comfortable. I want to get something that goes over the ears so when I'm sitting for hours, I can just tune out and listen to my music and still have my ears be comfortable. So I think these are going to be a lot better. Let's throw these in the cart. Wi-Fi is networking. Let's see. All right. This is something that I would definitely highly recommend that you guys get if you haven't already. This is the 6 Pro uh, Eero 6 Pro 6E because your internet speeds is really important. If you're get, having trouble getting signal to the back of your house or to your office, this could be a really good solution. And you don't have to get this full package. They have just an extender that you could buy and you just plug it into the outlet in your house. I want one of these. Let's see. I want some rock music. I can't even. All right, enough of that. I want to, shh. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here before it plays something else depressing. So this is another device that you have to get if you're a graphic designer, if you're any type of created. Being able to adjust your lighting, turn off your lights, turn on your lights, power everything up just by your voice using your Alexa is super cool. And I even have the app installed on my phone. I just have these plugged in and I put schedules and routines. So every night I turn off my dragon lights at a certain time and they turn back on at a certain time of day. You can do a lot with a smart, with a smart plug. If you don't have one of these, I would highly recommend that you get one. All right, so the next graphic design gadget we're gonna get is this baby, the Stream Deck. There's two options actually, the Stream Deck and then the Stream Deck XL. This has 15 different buttons on it. You can see here, I can turn these off and on. Look at, see this light turning off and on? Isn't that cool? You can control Photoshop, you can control Illustrator. It gives you different things. You can have 15 programmable things per program. So this is a really cool gadget. We're gonna pick this up and we're gonna use it. We're gonna give a little bit of a review on it as well. All right, so what they had in stock, we were able to pick up a few things. There's still more stuff that I'm gonna order online to be able to finish up this video. We're gonna pay for this stuff and then we're gonna head out. Hey Adrian, where are we at? We're rolling. I'm grabbing my gadgets, man. Hold on one second. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, oh, gosh. All right. All right. Thanks to our friends at BenQ, the first gadget is the designer monitor. We're gonna go in depth on another video, but today, if you wanna be a great designer, it helps to have great tools. And so I'm gonna share seven new gadgets that I've never talked about before that I think every graphic designer needs. So with all that all being said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, I'm gonna take this off my desk now. <laughs> you guys are gonna see what I have planned for this, but I got two of these things. All right, so graphic design gadgets. So. Uh, as you saw in our video, we went to Best Buy and we bought a bunch of new gadgets. One of the gadgets that I've really fallen in love with, aside from the monitor, which is really important to have, is these JBL Bluetooth headphones. Oh man, these things are phenomenal. I actually have been doing meditation with them, which is really helpful. If you're creative, if you're a designer, you need to fill yourself back up. We spend a lot of time pouring ourselves out, our creativity, our ideas, and client meetings, and business stuff. And it's important to fill ourselves back up and not only can we help ourselves get in that creative state, whether it's late at night, early in the morning, but it's also important to use it in your personal life. And so these headphones here are super comfortable. They last forever. The sound is incredibly good quality. Everything that JBL makes is really good. So I'll put a link in the description for these so you can pick these up. But this is one of the other gadgets that I think would be really, really helpful for you. All right, and then that leads me to the next gadget, which I've already talked about in depth. I did a few videos on this. If you haven't picked one up already, you need to, and I'm gonna talk about it right now, is the Stream Deck. This is the, there's a mini, and then there's the standard one, and then they have the larger one, like the XL. But this is just the standard one. It allows me to hop around from program to program, open up a bunch of menu items and programs at first, automate my house, automate my studio, all kinds of really cool stuff. 
This is a gadget that I think every graphic designer should have in 2022 and in going into 2023. If you're not using one of these yet, you're falling behind on the times. It's just such a helpful tool. So the next one, and this is something I also did a video on, is the MX3 uh, Master, Master Mouse from Logitech. This mouse is absolutely incredible. The more I use it, the more I fall in love with it. The, all the different buttons that it has, one here, one here, uh, one here, the, the uh, hydroelectric or hydromagnetic wheel. Here you have this button, you have this button, you have this button, and then you have this other wheel here. The amount of things that you can do with never even having to really even hardly move the mouse is absolutely unreal. The amount of design stuff that I've been able to do on this is huge. So get yourself a good mouse. If you want one that charges fast, that's super high quality, it's gonna last you a long time. The MX uh, Master 3, this is the way to go. And this one's specifically for Mac. They make them for PC and for Mac. Check this thing out, you'll love it. Again, link down in the description if you wanna get one yourself. My next one is really the monitor that I started off with. Getting yourself a high quality monitor that you're gonna use when you're doing design is really important. Whether you're doing web design, motion design, graphic design, print design is really, really important because you need to have the good color gamut, you need to have good color ratio, aspect ratio, all those things are really important. So getting yourself a high quality monitor is really great. And I'm gonna be doing an in-depth review of these monitors that I got sent to me thanks to our friends at BenQ. Uh, so look out for that, but getting yourself a really good monitor is an absolute must. Now, if you have an iMac like this, you can just use your iMac screen, they're really good. But if you're gonna hook up an external monitor, which I highly recommend, even if you have something like a MacBook Pro or something like that, you're living the laptop lifestyle, it's good to have that additional monitor to connect to, to work and have multiple monitors to move back and forth with. It'll help you with productivity, save you time. And with a good quality monitor, you're gonna get really good colors that a lot of your competitors are not. All right, so the next two devices, the next two gadgets, I gotta take you to my house real quick to show you what those are all about. Definitely don't wanna miss these. All right, so the next thing is the smart plug. I think this is really important. I use this not only here for my animal, and it's all connected to my Alexa device. So I use my Alexa, and I actually have automation set up so that every time, at a certain time every day, the lights come on and the lights come off. And if I need to turn them off, I can just say, hey Alexa, turn off dragon lights. And if I wanna turn them back on, I just say, hey Alexa, turn on dragon lights. And you can see here, it turns them off and on, which is really neat to have, especially if you have a studio, doing anything like that. I just really love this little gadget. It's been super helpful for me to schedule things in my house. All right, so here's the Eero. This is the one that we showed you in the store, and it's actually hooked up to my modem. So I have this going from the back of here, right into the directly into the modem, then the power cords routed in here, right into this, you can see, and this is just one piece of it. Let's go show you the second piece, which is in my room, which is the actual extender. This is a really neat device. I get good internet, fast internet, all over my house now because this is the very back of my house and I have the other unit in the very front of my house and these two are connecting, making sure that I get good signal whether I'm streaming something on my TV, working on my laptop, the Google devices, all this stuff. So this is definitely a gadget that I would recommend you to have. All right, so we're back. Those are the seven gadgets that I think every graphic designer needs in 2022. Going into 2023, I would like to know what gadgets would you like to see me talk about? What gadgets do you think I missed on my list? So thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.